welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago it was destroyed, and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess Kira that will truly test our metal. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the Overworld. I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the Aether. You've returned as a husk of your former self. But I've taught far denser Underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your lackeys get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Now that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head. And they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, Gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head, 
by casting possession upon them. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Possession will allow you to inhabit the mind of a minion, allowing you to see through their eyes, control their movement, and activate their abilities. Don't worry, Underlord. You'll soon get used to this. Now you can control your minion's movement with the W, A, S, and D keys, and change their unique quickbar abilities using the number keys. Left click to use their current ability. Push the escape key to end possession. Workers will fortify walls automatically when they've completed all their other tasks. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair, so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. Your dungeon has been breached. Cast Rally upon these spectres, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Your gnarlings made short work of those spectres, but see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast Recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing.
Lord, and I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. <laughs> <laughs> 